The underground street racing in Oklahoma has no doubt given thrill seekers a priceless gift with the advent of Street Outlaws TV show, a show that captures the thrills, drama, and drive of some of the most spectacular racers in the United States. Among these adrenaline junkies is a character that fans of the show have come to love and cherish over the years, Chuck Seitzinger, with his very free and cheerful personality. Despite Chuck being one of the 405 pioneering members of the show and also making his mark on the show by winning competitions, his time on the show hasn't been exactly drama-free. There have been obstacles, some of which threatened his career on the show. Definitely, you're wondering what these challenges were. Do stick around as we take you through Chuck's time on the show. Charles Seitzinger, who most people will know as Chuck, was born February 18, 197, in Oklahoma, and has been there throughout his life. People have come to know the city for its rich car culture and street racing scene, providing a major push for many of the locals who find it fascinating. In 2013, underground street racing in Oklahoma caught the attention of the Discovery Channel, and what resulted from that interest was Street Outlaws. Over the years, the fan base for the show has continued to grow, allowing many people to identify with the cast of the show, both in and off the tracks. The show has raised quite a number of local celebrities, and Chuck happened to be one of them. Growing up, Chuck was always fascinated by cars and the thrill of speed. His passion for racing started at a young age, influenced by the car culture that surrounded him. So, just when he got old enough, Chuck made his entry into the auto industry, first by learning about engines and how to find his way around them. Chuck's love for cars was evident from that young age. He spent countless hours tinkering with engines and learning about different car models. His early experiences with cars laid the foundation for his future in the world of street racing. By the time he was a teenager and was old enough to be behind the wheel, Chuck was already participating in local drag races and showing off his driving skills on the streets of Oklahoma City. His natural talent and fearless attitude quickly caught the attention of the street racing community. As Chuck grew older, his interest in racing evolved from a hobby to a full-fledged passion. He began participating in street races, testing his skills and pushing the limits of his vehicles. It wasn't long before Chuck caught the attention of the street racing community with his natural talent and fearless attitude. His impressive driving skills and determination led him to join the 405 crew, where he quickly established himself as a dominant force on the streets. Before joining the crew, he maintained his career owning a garage and an academy, Chuck Seitzinger Racing. In the shop, he has been able to create some very unique cars, while helping other racers with whatever they might need to make it to the next race. This garage is also the birthplace of his own car, the Death Trap. Death Trap is a 1989 Ford Fox body Mustang, featuring a 429 cubic inch small block Chevy SBC motor. Chuck has embarked on many exploits in this vehicle and is still bound to even make more name for himself in the vehicle. But since he is already in his 50s, we can't be really sure how long Chuck will be able to hold his place in the street outlaws community. However, that will be a story for another time. Career buildup. Chuck's transition into competitive racing was a defining moment in his career. His dedication to the sport and commitment to honing his skills set him apart from other racers. He quickly became known for his strategic approach to racing and his ability to outperform his competitors on the track. Watching the passion that Chuck brings to the racing community, no one will doubt that he is definitely meant for the tracks. He definitely enjoys the thrill that comes whenever he is behind the powerful engine of the death trap, poised to take on the next racer. His love for the game was what made his absence from it, sometime in 2022, even more difficult for the racer. Unfortunately, there wasn't much that he could do about it at the time. But everyone is glad that he is back on the tracks. And no one is as happy as Chuck himself. With the 405 crew and the pioneering members of Street Outlaws, 
Chuck experienced a meteoric rise in the world of street racing. He competed in numerous races, earning respect and admiration from both fellow racers and fans alike. Some of Chuck's most notable achievements include multiple wins in the Street Outlaws, No Prep King series and securing his place as one of the top racers in the 405 crew. His competitive spirit and dedication to the sport made him a fan favorite and a force to be reckoned with on the track. Chuck had an early boost in his career and was even making a name for himself long before he joined Street Outlaws. He was crowned Rookie of the Year by the Nopi Drag Racing Association and also came out at the top in the 2004 Nitrous Express P4 Xbox Cup Championship in the four-cylinder division. This shows that the racer had a strong foundation and made something out of his love for fast cars. Chuck's dominance in the world of street racing was undeniable. His strategic racing style and fearless approach to competition made him a formidable opponent. He was always pushing the boundaries, constantly striving to improve and evolve as a racer. Talking about strategies and racing styles, along with his career on Street Outlaws and the shop where he takes care of cars, he runs a racing academy called Chuck Seitzinger Racing, where he nurtures younger minds that are looking to be like him, or even better than him, in the future. From one of the clips that we have seen of him addressing his students, he was referring to racers working within their means. Truth be told, having a life on the tracks doesn't come cheap. If one is not careful, you could be due for an early retirement when you finally run out of funds. The bulk of the capital requirements required for racing comes from the need to have the best car on the track, with a focus on speed and, of course, safety. Trying to be someone else might just end up putting you in a fix, which is the reason why Chuck advises his students to always try and build up gradually. Moosey, one other character who has built a solid career in racing, which has been taken over by one of his daughters, Lizzie Moosey, also had a similar take in an interview he granted in the past. He had ignored his business to focus solely on racing and almost went bankrupt in the process. Learning from her father, Lizzie Moosey, has also come to be one of the most impressive racers you will find on Street Outlaws. Having people who already tested the way things work in the tracks as coaches early in life has proven to be instrumental in building the best racers in the industry, which is a dream that Chuck has set out to build with his academy, producing racers that will probably be greater than himself. With this need to have multiple streams of income while still racing, Chuck also has a YouTube channel where fans and other people who might be interested in racing get to see some of the efforts that go into preparations for racing. His channel currently has more than 45,000 subscribers, and that's not to mention the massive followership that he has on other platforms. Though Chuck isn't one to be open with certain details about his life, but we know that he has gathered quite a fortune from participating in these races and running other businesses. With what we know, his current net worth will be placed to be more than a million dollars. Outside of racing, Chuck's personal life has been a mix of triumphs and challenges. He was previously married and has a family, but unfortunately, their relationship faced its share of difficulties. Relationships and family. Chuck's challenge that sent him to prison sometime in 2022 wasn't the only issue that the man has had in the years that he has been with Street Outlaws. Aside from issues that affected his racing career, he had a life that had its ups and downs outside the tracks. Despite the issues that come with street racing, Chuck has always been a devoted father and partner. In recent years, he has found happiness and stability in his relationships and marriage, which has been a source of strength and support throughout his journey. Chuck was married to Valerie Butcher Schiff for a while, with whom he gave birth to three beautiful daughters, Chelsea, Madeline, and Miranda. Over the years that they have been married, fans have seen Chuck share some heartwarming moments from the times that they have shared together, shedding light on the fact that beyond the tracks, he has a life going for him. But things didn't seem to work out for too long between the two, because fans saw a post that Chuck made in 2016, saying that he needed a good divorce lawyer as he was about to face his wife in court. The two later got divorced, 
but Chuck seems to maintain a good relationship with his children, despite the separation. Chuck's dedication to his family has always been a driving force in his life. Despite the demands of his racing career, he has always made time for his loved ones, cherishing the moments spent with them. His closeness with his family was demonstrated back in 2020, when he got down with the COVID-19 disease, which sent him to the ICU for some time. During the period, the few videos that we saw him make showed that he was very lonely in the isolation units and was really looking forward to making a quick recovery so that he would have time with his family. During that time, not being able to take part in races then, due to the stringent restrictions that affected everyone at the time, was also a contributory factor to his misery. But luckily for Chuck, he was able to make a quick recovery and was soon back to doing what he loved. His recovery was also a major win for fans, who weren't sure if that visit to the ICU would be the last time that they would get to see one of their favorites. But everything turned out to be better after all. With the restrictions from the pandemic eased, things started getting back to normal between 2021 and 2022. But Chuck hadn't seen the end of things that had happened in 2020. Being someone who is very private with what goes on in his private life, not many people knew that Chuck had an issue back in 2020, which involved his children. A poor management of the issue came back to haunt him in 2022. In 2022, Chuck found himself in legal trouble that ultimately led to his imprisonment. The incident had a profound impact on his racing career and personal life, causing him to take a step back from the spotlight and reevaluate his priorities. With little information about what was going on being available to the public, everyone was lost, not knowing what had happened to necessitate his imprisonment. But it was a relief when everyone got to know the reason behind this which turned out to be Chuck trying to defend his children from something. Chuck hasn't exactly been open with what happened, but he was able to say that the whole issue started when he was in the ICU in 2020. He probably got a call that something was wrong from one of his children, and he took a step in resolving that, which turned out not to be so good. In a later video that we saw when he was already out of the prison, he clarified that he didn't exactly get caught in a fistfight, considering that he wasn't in the best physical condition then, but he did something that he shouldn't have done anyway. A misdemeanor charge was filed against him in 2022, and he didn't mention who did this, but before he could respond properly, the judge slammed him with a 60-day sentence in prison. But luckily for him, he served only 24 days in prison and got other sentences like getting enrolled in anger management sessions and paying some legal fees. Maybe one day Chuck will give details as to what the specifics were about the case, but till then, this is the much that we know about the case and probably the best anyone will know for a while. Chuck shared the difficulties that he had to pass through during the few days that he was away. And among them, not being able to reach his family in the first week was top of the list. He mentioned that wasn't able to remember his children's phone numbers and so had to wait till he recalled that of his father, who then helped him get through to his children. This is a testament to the strong bonds that he has with his children and the continuous desire to keep in touch with them. Aside from that, he also recounted the horrible experience that he had while in prison as he realized that he wasn't that tough a guy after all. When he got out, he was already behind with one race and showed dedication in making sure that he was able to catch up with what was happening on the tracks. Having spent most of his life on the tracks, Chuck must have learned how to react without giving much thought to situations, which might have influenced his overall character, resulting in the issue that landed him in prison. He was seen in that video he made after he got out, acknowledging that he will definitely make an effort to allow things to run their course before taking action. Gladly, the case wasn't one that would leave a lasting impact on his career, and he is already back on the tracks, making impacts as usual. Despite the challenges, Chuck has shown resilience and determination to overcome his past and continue pursuing his passion for racing. It's good that he still has the support of his daughters, which goes to show that he hasn't been a bad father over the years. They still come to the tracks whenever their father is racing to cheer for him. 
Having them around will surely be a source of inspiration for Chuck, helping him keep his eyes on what truly matters. The fact that he ended up in prison trying to defend them must have also strengthened the bond between them. Knowing what street racing is like, one will know, without being told that over the years, Chuck must have faced other numerous obstacles, which he might not have been so inclined to share. The uncertainty that the racers face in every race on the street outlaws. No prep kings is enough to weigh on anyone. But just like everyone who has stuck around in the show over the years, the love for racing and the support of his fans must have been a fuel that kept him going. He has worked hard to rebuild his life and reputation, proving that he is more than just a racer. He is also a survivor. Through it all, Chuck's story serves as a reminder of the highs and lows that come with following one's dreams and the importance of perseverance in the face of adversity. Despite the challenges, Chuck remains a beloved and respected figure in the racing community. His resilience and determination to overcome obstacles have inspired fans and fellow racers alike. With Valerie, Chuck's ex-wife no remarried, which happened around 2018, Chuck himself seems not to have called it a quit with building new relationships. Around that same 2018, he was rumored to be in a relationship with Elisa Noel, who also ended an earlier marriage, with an abusive husband. Over the years, we haven't learned much about the status of that relationship, or confirmed if it was true at all. It seems Chuck is focusing fully on his racing career and daughters at the moment. Just be sure that we will provide you with more updates if they come in the future. Chuck Seitzinger's journey in the world of street racing is a testament to his passion, talent, and resilience. Despite the heartbreaking tragedy and challenges he has faced, Chuck continues to be a beloved figure in the racing community, inspiring fans and fellow racers alike with his determination and spirit. As we wrap up today's episode, we want to extend our thoughts and support to Chuck and his family. We hope that his story serves as a reminder of the power of perseverance and the importance of cherishing the moments that matter most. Thank you for joining us in this emotional journey through the life of Chuck Seitzinger. Stay tuned for more exciting content, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more Street Outlaws updates.